The latest report from the U.S. Department of Labor shows inflation surged last month. The Consumer Price Index, a key measure of inflation in the country, jumped to 5.4 percent in June. That's the largest increase in 13 years. Analysts say that the spike is being driven in part by rising prices for gas, used cars, and hotels. So let's bring in Chief Economist for Moody's Analytics, Mark Zandi, to break it down for us. Mark, I, I, people had warned that you know we were probably going to see some inflation, especially because, you know, there were checks being handed out uh, to, to help to keep everyone afloat. So explain to the viewers why we're seeing this spike in inflation now. Well, it's demand and supply. I mean, the economy's reopened very quickly on the other side of the pandemic, and demand has surged. People are out and about uh, going to restaurants and traveling again, and so a, a big pickup in demand. And supply uh, is just taking a little bit longer to kick into gear, you know, uh, getting the lights turned on and people back in their seats is, uh, you know, not happening as quickly. So a lot of demand, not quite enough supply, so prices rise. The, the other thing to consider is that, you know, a lot of businesses that got nailed by the pandemic, you know, think hotels, think rental cars, think, you know, anything related to the travel industry, airfares, uh, th those prices were cut significantly during the pandemic. And all that's happening now is that they're being reset. Uh, they're normalizing. They're going back to where they were. And of course, that's that's inflation, you know, but it's temporary, but it's inflation. So should people be concerned? And what's your prediction for these rising consumer prices? Well, it's, you know, it's uncomfortable, right? We're paying more at the gas the gasoline tank. If you're traveling, uh, airfares are back up. Uh, yeah, you know, you're uh, paying more to uh, if you're, you're trying to fix your back deck and going and uh, getting some lumber, uh, you're you're clearly paying more. So, it, you know, it doesn't feel good, but. Uh, it, it, I think it will be temporary. I think uh, by uh, this time next year, uh, uh, we'll see the supply side of the economy, factories, mines, the businesses open up fully, everyone's back working again, uh, and prices will moderate and inflation will come back down to, to where it was previously. So, uh, you know, it doesn't feel really good, uh, but I, I think it's going to feel a lot better a year from now. So former Treasury Sec Secretary Larry Summers has been warning that President Biden's big spending agenda was creating the risk of an in inflation spike. After these numbers were released, Summers said that he is even more concerned than before. But the White House maintains that things will level off, like you suggested. I, I guess, do you, do you still think that? Do you think things will level off? I do. Uh, you, I, I, I mean, I, I think uh, that um, what the administration is, is doing in terms of supporting the economy is the right thing. Uh, I mean, I would I would point out that, you know, prior to the pandemic, uh, the, the hand wringing that was going on was around how low inflation was. It was too low. It was a, a, a problem. The Federal Reserve was working really hard to get inflation uh, up. Uh, and so, you know, I, I think it's uh, premature to be uh, uh, overly concerned about inflation. You know, it's it's not a bad thing that if we get it up a little bit from where it was pre-pandemic. So, you know, uh, it's cer certainly something to watch. It's certainly a risk, but uh, I'm not overly concerned about it. I do think we'll be in a, a pretty good place uh, uh, come this time next year. So while consumer prices are rising, labor statistics show real hourly wages are dropping. I hope our viewers understand why. Yeah, well, I, I think that is just measurement. I mean, if you actually look at the the the, uh, the measures of wages that uh, account for uh, the mix of jobs in the economy, uh, the, the best measures of, of wage growth, uh, they actually are, are quite good, strong. A uh, 3% year-over-year growth, uh, rock solid, uh, kind of where we were prior to the pandemic. I mean, I, I think we have to take uh, great comfort in how uh, well wage growth has actually held up uh, during the pandemic. So, you know, wage growth is 3%. Inflation right now is about 5 So, again, that doesn't feel very good because, you know, our, our, uh, our purchasing power is lower today. But a year from now, I think wage growth will be 3% plus. Inflation will be back down closer to 2 That'll feel a lot better. Uh, our, our purchasing power will have increased by then. So uh, the best measures of wages are saying things are actually holding up uh, very well. Uh, in the labor market, despite, you know, all the problems that we've been through. So Fed Chair Jerome Powell will testify before Congress this week. What is he likely to be asked about? What will you be listening for? Oh, definitely inflation. That's uh, top of mind, right? I mean, we're talking about mm -hmm. it and everyone's talking about it. Everyone's nervous about it, concerned about it. 
Uh, and so he's going to be uh, answering those questions. Uh, and, you know, I think his answers are going to be pretty similar to mine. He's going, he's going to say, you know, it's a problem at the moment, but we'll work through these things in a year from now. We'll be in a much better place. Uh, he'll be asked about fiscal policy. Uh, not that he's going to say much there, uh, but, you know, Congress and the administration are very busy working on another package of of uh, infrastructure and social program spending, some tax increases potentially. And I think uh, congressmen who are going to be questioning him will want him to weigh on that. I'll also get questions around, uh, you know, who's gotten hurt most by the pandemic, you know, questions about lower income households, families of uh, color who've gotten hit uh, disproportionately hard. I mean, he's been very concerned about that and focused on that. I'm sure he'll get a lot of questions around that. And then some, you know, uh, interesting questions about uh, cryptocurrency and central bank d digital currency and uh, banking regulation. They're always on the uh, top of the list of, uh, of issues. They're, they're more arcane, uh, but uh, he'll get those questions as well. All right. Uh, fascinating insights there, Mark. Thank you. We appreciate it as always. Sure. Thank you.